Hello FlossTube, this is Kate Madam Ice and welcome back to my FlossTube channel. I want to say hello to everyone who's new. Um, thank you for finding me and for subscribing or just finding me and watching. Uh, I really appreciate you and everyone who's been with me from the beginning. Uh, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. <sighs> Let's see, I have not very much of a plan today. I am pretty worn out. My husband and I have had a busy couple of weeks here. It's spring break season and we are a spring break location in Charleston, South Carolina. So uh, we had family coming in visit. I had, let's see, I'm looking at my calendar here. My dad and stepmother and step brother came in on the, it would have been the 16th which is a Saturday, they left on Wednesday the 20th, and then my uh, sister-in-law and her husband and their four kids came and stayed with us uh, starting the next Sunday, so the 24th, and they just left this morning. So I'm enjoying a little bit of peace and quiet. Uh, we've had four kids running around here. They aren't little, little, but uh, just way more activity than we're used to having around this house so I'm enjoying the peace and quiet and realized all I really want to do right now is make a flossy video and say hi to all my cross stitching peeps even though I haven't really had much time to do much so we'll see how long this goes hopefully not too long for you I just wanted to give you an update because I miss you and I haven't been able to watch and so I want to be able to film and then I'm going to spend the afternoon catching up on floss tube um, oh, there goes Stella. <laughs> you saw the puppy butt there. Uh, okay, so let's get started. I guess, um, I can talk a little bit about what we did while they were here. If that's all right, it's a little bit of a life update. Uh, so my dad and stepmom, they're, um, they like to go out and eat and things, but they also like to stay at home and help Josh and I with projects around our house. So, we went to a flea market and bought a couple of chairs and made a bench out of it and kind of um, did our entryway a little bit because we had nothing there by the front door. So we put a bench and some hooks and a little shelf. It's definitely a work in progress. I got to get some more stuff to put up there. But we did that while they were here. I'll put a picture of the bench up here. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, then... Let's see, with the, with the in-laws, we did a lot of stuff. <laughs> we did a lot of stuff. They're an active family, so we went out pretty much every day. <clears throat> um, with both, we went to the uh, historic plantation that my husband works at and toured the gardens with both sets of families. I'll go ahead and, while I'm talking here, I'll have been putting some pictures up here of the gardens for all you people who really like flowers and uh, the outdoor pictures and things it it's the best time of year in my opinion for walking those gardens because it's azalea season and camellia season so everything's in super big bloom and it's gorgeous so we did that with both families um, my birthday was Wednesday the 27th of this week so two days ago so we, that was the day we went out to the garden with the in-laws and it was super nice. We got lucky both times. It was really pretty days and everything. So I hope you're enjoying those pictures that I'm putting up over there. All right. Stitching. Yay. First of all, I have a finish. I have a finish. All right. So again, um, I did manage to keep up with my goal of doing one finish a month for Stitch 9. This month, I finished it when my in-laws came. Um, about five minutes before they pulled in the driveway, I finished this up. So I was super excited about it. It is my Sewing Vintage by Bobby G Designs. I haven't washed it yet, so there's still some hoop marks going on over here. And throughout, but you can't see it as well. Um. And I love it. I think it turned out very good. This was my oldest whip. It was one of the first things I started. 
when I started cross stitching uh, and I think it turned out really well let me tell you this border was a little bit tedious for me <sighs> but it was kind of nice because I could it's just diamonds and so I could just sit and not look at the chart so I could just sit and do it that was good I guess but yeah super cute I do have a Bobby G designs also puts out quilt patterns and so I have the quilt equivalent of this I have that pattern I don't know if I'll ever get to it but I had this idea when I bought that pattern that I would put a wall hanging with this pattern on it next to the cross stitch and it would be super cute I don't know if I'll ever get to it but maybe someday um and then other than that all I've really worked on has been my uh, Christmas rules by Lizzie Kate and um, I'm not done with the one for this month yet, but I'm confident that this weekend before April 1st, I will be able to, uh, finish up this month's little block. So <clears throat> if you don't know what it looks like, this is, this is Christmas Rules by Lizzie Kate. And there's a stitch along, it's hashtag 12 months of Christmas, it's being put on by a stitch for mom. And since there's 12 rules, you do one rule a month. So I'm not going to take it out of the Q-snap. If you want to see the topper and the other ones for mine, you can go back um, to my last video. Or I post on my Instagram too, I post this one. So you can see the whole thing there. This month's rule is follow a law as you decorate. I obviously haven't quite finished the words because I still have to put this E and then I've started an ornament but you can't really tell super well because it's a white. Eh, that's worse. It's white <laughs> um, on this pretty light fabric so it doesn't come across super well on the video but um, yeah, I'm doing a conversion to make it more blue uh, blue themed. I'm going to put a little bit of red in every block uh, because I like a blue and silver Christmas. That is what I do in my home. All right, and that's really um, all the stitching I have for you guys. I have a stack of things. It's been just slowly being put in a bag that I was going to show in my next Flossy video. So I'm just going to pick up whatever's on top I just kind of dumped it out over here so um yeah it's gonna be a mishmash uh, okay the first thing that is in here is right on top my dad for um, my birthday when we were out at Middleton place which is the uh, plantation that uh, has the gardens that we went to we went went into this gift shop there which I don't I've never gone into before um, I've been to the gardens plenty of times because my husband works there but um, and they had cross stitch kits in there so my dad got some for me and I'm super excited about them they're kind of I don't know they're cute they're sweet so here is the first one it's historic Middleton place and it's that's the house that's still standing um and then this is a statue that's in the garden it's a marble statue i took a picture of her uh, i'll put that again up here if i didn't already put it before or i'll repeat it but yeah it's just a, a statue that they have in the garden um i it comes with some ada which is fine one is 18 count one is 14 count I might just use the charts and put it on something else I haven't decided yet I have a, a thought that maybe I would put them together there's a third chart that was in there that I might go back and get um that was of it was of a 
like slave woman with a basket on her head, I think probably of rice. Um, and I thought it seemed like a good idea to me to put the three on one piece of fabric with the house in the center and this marble statue on one side and the slave woman on the other side of the house. I don't know. It seems kind of fitting to me. It's a beautiful house and a beautiful garden, but it wouldn't have ever gotten there, I don't think, probably without the work of a lot of slaves. Uh, the Middletons had a lot of slaves in their property. So I think that that seems sweet to me. I don't know. I would have to go back and get the other chart though. We'll see what I end up doing someday when I get to it, which is probably going to be a while because, yeah. Uh, so the, I went ahead and ordered from 123Stitch the next uh, bit of the Lizzie Kate Christmas rules. So this one is give Santa cookies and milk and no pouting. So this would be for March, April, May and June of this year. I decided to order them a little bit ahead of time because I didn't want to get stuck or maybe they were out of stock of them and I had to wait for them to send them or to reprint the chart so I wanted to order it just a little bit early so I made sure I had it on the months that I want to stitch them. So I got that. This is not really cross stitching related but it's super cute and I love it and I thought I would share. We were just in Walmart or something maybe Target the other day and I saw this book, um, it's Little Book of Pooisms with help from Piglet, Eeyore, Rabbit, Owl, and Tigger too. And I love Winnie the Pooh and my husband actually does too. And we recently watched the new movie Christopher Robin, it's on Netflix right now. And it just has sweet drawings with quotes from Pooh and the Friends. Sometimes if I'm going somewhere and I wait, somewhere comes to me. Anyways, I just think it's sweet and it makes me happy and I'm going to keep it right in here next to my stitching spot for a little piece of joy. I can just flip through it. Something about Winnie the Pooh. He's so sweet and he says things, you know. It makes sense to a kid. They're easy words and easy things to understand on the surface. But I think that it just, a lot of times there's deeper meaning and I, I appreciate it. So, my book of pooisms. Man, I am a little bit tired. So my energy level is maybe down a couple notches from normal. Uh, but I'm very happy to meet, have the opportunity to sit and film a floss to video <laughs> for the first time in a couple weeks. Okay, so I have a couple pins that I'm going to show you uh, that I would like to make into needle minders. There was a, at my work, there's a health and wellness committee and they had a drawing and I won. And what I won was one of those... <laughs> what are the, the like apple slicer things where it automatically slices and cores an apple and you just push it down. I've never had one of those before. It's pretty nifty really, but uh, more importantly to me, when I got there, they had a stack of these pins and they were like, oh yeah, you guys can have them if you want. And I think they're hilarious. They're food puns. So this one, <clears throat> I want to make, well, I want to make needle minders out of all of them because they're so cute. Dropping beets. Ready? Okay. Simply radishing. Uh, I think this one's my favorite. And then living on a pear. Like living on a prayer. Oh, so cute. I love them and I wore them around, ooh, 
Move the camera. Sorry, guys. All right. Uh, I put all of them on my shirt when I was at work that day. And I think it might have made a little people wigged out um, because I was wearing so much flair. And our job is not the flair wearing type of job. But they made me so happy. And I think they're hilarious. So hopefully I will figure out how to make them into needle miners soon. Or maybe I can send them to someone. We'll see. <laughs> what else is in here? Oh, and my one, two, three stitch order with the uh, Lizzie Kate chart. I also got this. It is, I don't know how to say this name. I'll just let you guys read her name because I can't say it. But the chart name is Whisper. And it's this sweet girl underneath a mushroom. I don't know. Something about it just makes me happy. And I love her blue hair. I had blue hair for a while. Uh, blue and pink and purple. And I really, really loved it. I really, really got tired of taking cold showers to try to maintain it for as long as possible. So I got rid of it. But this reminds me of when I had blue hair and I loved it so much. Oh, and here's her name. Um, I'm sorry, I just can't say it. <laughs> but Whisper, she's so sweet. Okay, and next up, oh yeah. Market happened since the last time that I talked to you guys. I only got a couple things, but I do love both of them. So the first one that I got is an in ink circles. It's called Out There, parentheses, it's a jungle. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic for you. Crinkle, crinkle. Ooh, I haven't taken it out of the plastic before. So I went to go take the cover out. This is the chart in question. Like I said, it's called Out There by Ink Circles. It's got a bunch of animals in it. I think it's just cute. Uh, and when I went to take it out, this was in there. Isn't that fun? There's just like a drawing. I like it. Anyways, and then the next chart I got... I love this chart and I love this woman, Miss Stephanie Webb, sorry, of Lindy Stitches. Mm, I could not resist it. It is the Peacock Keeper. So I'm not a huge fan of like actual peacocks. <laughs> when they're in real life, they kind of scare me. Uh, they're huge and they make a lot of noise and it's a scary noise. But uh, the colors of peacocks are my favorite kind of set of colors. And when I had my hair colored blue and pink and purple, I went in there with the inspiration of a peacock. I said, I want it to look like peacock colors, throw in a little bit of pink. And this pretty much embodies what my hair colors were actually. But um, I think it is adorable and it is so whimsical. Um, and I love the saying, a little nonsense now and then is relished by the wisest men. And that was um, said in Willy Wonka. It's, it's by, I can't never say his name, Roald, Roald Dahl. You guys know who I'm talking about. It's right there. But uh, I love Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I always have. Watched it nonstop when I was a kid. Uh, so, I got this because I think it's hilarious. This little guy with a beard and a cane and a bunch of peacocks. Mm, so cute. And I think that is all I have for you guys today. So, it's a much shorter video, which is just fine. I hope you guys are all doing uh, well. We're doing great. Just a little tired. Um, oh, I thought I would ask y'all a question because I'm a relatively new stitcher, you know, um, and so 
there's things that I probably just don't know and I have a question for you and hopefully someone can give me a hint or tip or trick or tell me what I'm doing wrong. So when you're stitching with two strands of thread, if I had brought an example, I would, but you're stitching with two strands of thread, right? And when I first put the strands in a piece and start stitching with it, the ends match up, right? So you have two lengths of thread that are the exact same length. And then as I'm stitching, I notice that for some reason, one of those threads pulls through more than the other. And sometimes the X doesn't look super great because one will be loose and the other one will be straight. And then at the end, you know, you have an inch or two difference from the end of your thread. How do I fix that? <laughs> Can anyone tell me how to fix that or what I'm doing wrong? Because it's really frustrating. <laughs> And um, I try to catch when the X's are looking off and tighten up the one that's not pulling through as much as the other. And so that the ends match up kind of again, but sometimes I don't do a very great job and there'll literally be like two or three inches difference on the end of the thread. Maybe that's exaggerating. One or two inches of difference in the, in the ends of the floss. And so yeah, do any of you have that problem and do you know how to fix it? I would really love to hear that. If you'd comment below with some tips and tricks, uh, I would really appreciate that. Hmm. All right, well, I think that is really all I have for you guys today. So I really hope you guys are having a, a great springtime. I know down here it's starting to really feel nice outside, it's super warm. You wanna get outside and walk around and stuff. So I hope you all are getting there. I know up north it's still a little bit cold, but it's coming for you and in a good way. That sounded creepy. It's coming for you. Springtime is coming and it's going to be wonderful. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Um, love you all. Bye.